Hi, everyone, and welcome to Discovery Days with the Oklahoma Hall of Fame and Gaylord Pickens Museum. We're so excited you guys are here and can't wait to get started. We want to take a quick moment to say thank you to our sponsors with the Chickasaw Nation and the Inasmuch Foundation for making free family programming in 2021 possible. We have a great day in store for you guys and can't wait to get started. So we're going to jump in. As you guys know, this is our museum located here in Midtown, Oklahoma City. We absolutely love this museum and love getting to share it with all of you. We have a lot of fun new programs and exhibits coming your way this spring and summer, so make sure to check those out on our website. Our mission is to tell Oklahoma's story through its people. Every day we work really hard to share the inspiring stories of Oklahomans with all generations because we believe that Oklahomans are changing the world. That includes all of you guys. I can't wait to see how you guys change the world for the better. So another Oklahoman that changed that changed our world for the better is that of Mr. William H. Crawford. Crawford is committed to wildlife conservation and restored the Hackberry Flat wetland, which is here in Oklahoma. I have a picture of that for you guys in just a second. He received the Oklahoma Economics Development Volunteer of the Year from Governor George Nye, and he also served with the Mountain Park Master Conservancy District to help develop the Tom Stade Reservoir as a water supply in southwest Oklahoma. So Mr. Crawford had, was, is committed to making all of Oklahoma's natural resources and land to the best of its ability for all of its communities. So this is the Hackberry Flat wetland I was telling you guys about. He, uh, William Crawford helped restore this area and now it's used for, uh, for nature preser preservation and for animal conservation and things like that. So it's an absolutely awesome opportunity that we have here in Oklahoma. And it leads right into our story because what does an area like this like more then springtime. So we're going to jump in and read Spring is Here. So let me go ahead and switch this over so everyone can see the story as we read along. All right, guys, we're going to read Spring is Here, a bear and mole story. Mole woke up. He looks like he has a comfy bed, doesn't he? Is it spring, he wondered. He opened the window to smell the air. Dressed. I like his overalls. And tiptoed past Bear's bedroom. Bear's bedroom is still dark. Does anyone know why? Because bears hibernate. That's right, they sleep all winter long. And stepped outside. He felt mud under his feet. Squish, squish, squish. Looks like it might be spring, guys. Spring is here, cried Mole. I must tell Bear. He's opening all the shutters so the light, so the house gets light. Mole rapped on Bear's window. Tap, tap, tap. Snore. <sighs> Bear's still sleeping pretty hard, isn't he? Mole dashed inside and knocked on Bear's door. <laughs> Replied Bear. He's sleeping pretty hard, isn't he? Mole tickled Bear's nose. Swish, swish, swish. <sniffs> Replied Bear, nothing's waking him up, is it? Mole played his horn for Bear. Toot, toot, toot. <sniffs> Replied Bear, he's sleeping hard. Look, even stuck his head under the pillow. Oh dear, sighed Mole. Spring is here and Bear must get up. Mole thought and thought, then he scampered outside. What do you guys think his idea was? He gathered, gathering eggs, he milked, and he churned. So he gathered the eggs from the chickens, he got the milk from the cow, and he's churning the butter. Wonder what he's making. He poured, he baked. Uh-oh, what's he making, guys? Finally, he shuffled into Bear's room. Wake up, Bear, mumbled Mole. Spring is here. Look, he's getting breakfast in bed. How cool is that? Yum, replied Bear. Then he looked at Mole. Wake up, Mole, said Bear. Spring is here. Mole so tired from prepping to wake up Bear. <sniffs> replied Mole. Well, I think Mole was pretty tired from trying to wake Bear up to enjoy all that spring weather. But I bet after Mole takes a nap, they'll be able to enjoy it together. All right, guys, we're gonna jump in and make our craft here. So we need a piece of construction paper and then we're gonna empty out our craft kit. 
and we need this big white circle, one of those, two of those, some googly eyes, another white circle. All right, so we've got our circles, two googly eyes, some pieces of yarn, and a pink circle. What does everyone think we're making? Can you figure it out? We're gonna make a bunny because it's springtime and what more fun, how much more fun can that be? All right, so the first thing we need to do is take our glue stick and we're gonna glue down the body of our bunny. All right, so I'm gonna take this half circle here and I'm gonna put glue all over the back of it. All right, just like that. So put this down here at the bottom of my paper and then I'm gonna press down real hard. All right, there's that. Now I'm gonna take my big circle and I'm gonna put glue all over the back of it. Okay. And I'm gonna put it just like that and I'm gonna press down real hard. Does it look like a bunny yet? Not quite yet, huh? Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so our bunny needs ears. Bunnies are totally known for their, for their ears, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put glue down here at the bottom of my ear, just like that. And then I'm gonna tuck it up, slide it in here where my ear goes, press down, okay? All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing with my other ear. Glue just at the bottom and I'm gonna tuck it up under here, just like that. And I, okay, so kind of starting to look like a bunny, right? We're getting there. Okay, we need a face. Okay, so with our face, we are going to put glue where our eyes go. Okay, just like that. Okay, so we got that. Might need a nose, right? So we're gonna put glue here where our nose goes. Just like that. And now we also need whiskers. So I'm gonna put glue where I want my whiskers and I'm gonna use these pieces of white string as my whiskers. A little more glue here. Okay. Uh, there's, we need two sets of whiskers, right? So get the other side here. All right. There we go, glue my whiskers down. Okay, last whisker here. All right, and we're gonna glue it down just like that. All right, so we've got our whiskers now. Starting to look like a bunny, right? Okay, so I'm gonna take a crown and I'm gonna draw a smile for our bunny. Okay, now it looks like the crease in his little nose there. And the other thing I'm gonna add is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a pink crown and I'm gonna draw in the center here. And I'm gonna go ahead and color it in on my ears. All right. Just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one. I'm even going to give my swatch of pink down here too on his, on his belly going into his chest. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to fold my ear because I think I want a floppy eared bunny. 
All right, guys. And now my bunny's done. All right, let me stop sharing this so you guys can all see how awesome the bunny turned out. You guys, well, thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun with you guys today and can't wait to see you again next week. Bye.